Welcome inside the film room. I'm Dustin Fox alongside legendary Browns quarterback Bernie Kosar. Bernie, the Browns back at home this week, obviously with a great opportunity uh, to get back on the winning track against the Baltimore Ravens. And we're going to take a look at this Baltimore Ravens offense that it really has, has done a great job. And Joe Flacco this season has been probably as good as we've seen Joe Flacco. Absolutely. You know, as we look at the first play here, the Ravens now have added into their game They've trying got, to do yeah. more of the vertical passing game. You get the X receiver who runs about a 4-3-40 <laughs> on a safety who's somewhat flat-footed. Dustin, you know yeah. the outcome of that. No doubt. And, and listen, John Brown has been a nice addition to this, this group. Um, his speed, as you talk about, Bernie, has been tremendous for, for this Ravens offense. And you know, it's, it's something in the last couple of years, they haven't had a lot of deep threats at wide receiver, but now they've got a couple guys. When you're able to hit a 71-yard post play like this, this will open up the running game. This will open up those play actions, those throws in the flats, and you're going to see a lot of those throws primarily from the Ravens. Here, max protection, Joe Flacco. We know he's a pocket quarterback, so with extra protection to give Joe plenty of time and a solid pocket to stand in there. I think they also know that they've got a rookie safety, too. The 34 is a rookie. And they got John Brown matched up against him, and uh, obviously he takes advantage of it. All right, so as we take a look at another play here, Bernie, this this one jumped out at you when you were watching for some film. Yeah, this this one brings brings back so many great memories for me. Here we have third and one. Mm -hmm. You want to get the first down, but notice the Baltimore Ravens they have two two off, tight off ends, line, right? yeah. unbalanced line, and an extra lineman in the game. Okay, that's screaming run, get the first down at all cost, um, but. Being quite familiar with this, if you look at what should be the left guard here, that's actually the tight end number 87. So the tight end position to the left of your screen down here on the hash number 79 is actually an offensive lineman lined up as an eligible receiver as the tight end here. When you put the flanker to the bottom of the screen here off the ball you're allowed seven guys on the ball four guys off the ball per the rules so if you look at the z off the ball the back off the ball mm -hmm. tight end number 87 is technically off the ball and the quarterback that's four but it starts around the hip of the lineman so if you notice 87 is really nudged up illegally a little too far this causes confusion for pittsburgh and they yep. they i think assimilate him to being another lineman and look at how it parts number 87 is who looks like the left guard that's really an eligible receiver right in the middle of your screen off the ball and as basically yeah, right the left guard and this is i mean this is just this is i love i love this this is absolutely gorgeous yep. so third and one you you, you th everyone thinks it's going to be a run and they run a trick play and nobody on pittsburgh recognizes it right you can see that they're yep. making a conscious effort to go more vertical yep. in their game um, I think that bodes well for the Browns defense. Mm -hmm. The plays that Baltimore uses to get deep throws requires a fair amount of time. They use excessive uh, extra protectors in there. Our front four, Miles Garrett, been getting after him. I think that'll be the telltale test. All right. He's Bernie Costar. I'm Dustin Fox. That was a look at the Baltimore Ravens offense.